Hello and welcome back to Bampton Insight. In this video, we're going to bring you along with us at the All England, the world's most prestigious Bampton tournament, and we're playing our first round tomorrow. For those who were watching last year, you'll remember that we had a heartbreaking loss in the first round, where we were leading in the third game, but ended up losing 21-19. It took a while for us to get over that loss, but it's been a goal of ours to qualify for this tournament again and get revenge from last year. The kind of short-term goal for us is to play the All England again. Um, we need revenge from that, from that <laughs> devastating loss yeah. last year. So it's 1pm on Monday, and we now have training in the practice hall, followed by the main arena. So let's go. Oh, oh my god. Want at least three trick shots in this rally? Okay, let me try a Greg's one. <laughs> 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 I'll delete that one. <laughs> there. <laughs> In the players' area, there's a pool table, so we are, of course, jumping straight on it. Who do you think is going to win, Greg? Um, it's not a question. <laughs> Greg, who won that pool game? I potted. The, who won the pool game? I potted the white. Who, who and won the, the pool black, game? Just the table was <laughs> Let's go. One nil. Now it's time for our main court hitting, and this is the only chance that we get to play on these courts before our match tomorrow. And a first look at the grey courts. We've got the China mixed doubles playing here, China men's doubles down the end, and German women's singles here. And we've not mentioned this on the vlog yet, but we're actually playing Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith, our fellow English teammates, in the first round. So it really will be an All England at the All England. But hopefully the crowd give us an amazing atmosphere, and we cannot wait to step out here tomorrow. Can go around six? Okay. See you later. What are your thoughts on the colour? Uh, it's grey. Great, great, great. <laughs> I don't know, it's very different. I'm all for trying different things. I'm not sure how it's going to look on TV. So, we'll see. So, we had a good session getting used to the hall and the conditions, but slow conditions. So, expecting lots of long rallies tomorrow. During our session, we had an invite out for dinner. So that's where we are going now. We've just quickly showered, got changed. And we're heading out for dinner to probably our favorite UK chain restaurant, Miller and Carter. Uh, it's where we usually go for kind of celebrations and special occasions. And tonight is a special occasion due to the guests we are going with. So we'll see you in there. Really good steak. <laughs> Lots of protein here. Yeah. The power of smash yeah. Come, yeah. coming from this. Okay, we just yeah. had a lovely dinner. Um, last time I learned Yamao Chao. What are you Yamao Chao? No, that's wrong. Yeah, that, that's wrong. What? Yumao Chao. Yumao Chao. Yeah, yeah. That's what are Yumao Chao? It's been a while. Since yeah, it's been a while. You, what are you, you haven't been practicing. <laughs> we we, we teach you some uh, Chinese again. We can learn steak. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Good word to learn. Niu Pai. Niu Pai. Niu Pai. Niu Pai. Niu Pai. 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 Yeah. Pai. <laughs> the two, two interesting words. Yumao Chao Pai. Yu Mao Chou, Yu Mao Chou, Pai is racket. Wow. You just add one word. That's crazy. After Yu Mao Chou, Pai. Yeah. Yu Mao Chou, Pai is racket. Bamsen racket. Yeah. Wow. And Niu Pai 
with a steak. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yo, yeah, pie. This is interesting. Yes. <laughs> Yamaocho pie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also pies. Yamaocho yeah. pie is flat. Pie. Pie. Yeah. <laughs> Yamaocho pie. 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 Yeah. yeah, yeah. Pie. You have to remember that we're filming next visit China, so you can order steak. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. When yes. there's no English on the menus. Yeah, yeah. because we both like a steak. Yeah. And we both play badminton. Yeah. So this is two important two words. Yeah. <laughs> Last year, yeah. we made you try the cream egg, the yeah. like Cadbury's cream egg. The, uh, the food? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we yeah. have some, Jenny's baked some muffins for you to try. Wow, okay. Yeah, banana, raspberry, white chocolate. Uh, okay. But you won the tournament last year, so. Okay. After the cream egg. So oh, maybe we should have bought it. Okay. You will do again. <laughs> we, we must eat now. Okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> nice. Is this yet? Okay, this sweetness is. Uh, Sweet. Uh, just right. Yeah. It's not too sweet. Okay. Good. Not like durian. <laughs> <laughs> durian is very good. Oh. <laughs> very good homemade uh, uh, muffin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we like it. So we've just got back from a very enjoyable dinner, and we've just found out that we are on seventh match after 10 a.m. tomorrow. So we reckon around 4 p.m. So now we're going to get a good night's sleep, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. So we have had a leisurely start to our day as it's going to be quite an intense rest of the day. So much needed downtime this morning. I also had a nap because my whoop was telling me I didn't quite get enough sleep. And yeah, now we are heading out for a coffee and to grab some lunch. So we're just figuring out the timings of when we want to go to the hall. And we normally like to start warming up around halfway through a match and a half before us. So around halfway through Ginting against Lee, we will start warming up. So we think when Kirsty Gilmore is finishing, we're going to head over to the hall. Not long. Not long indeed. Slow shuttles means we need to be fueled up. How are you joking? We are on our way to the arena. Let's go. I guess I've been crying because it's so cold. <laughs> on my right, Jenny Mayer and Gregory Mayer, England. Okay, guys, it was an incredible match out there. It can't have been easy. It was very tight throughout. Uh, what are your reflections? Oh, tough. I think after last year, we wanted to come back and get revenge of a close three set loss. And it stings, not quite again. This year, we were so focused on the process of doing what it took to win that match. And uh, as Jenny said, we didn't. And yeah, right now, we are devastated. What's next for you guys? Um, crying in bed for about a week. <laughs> and then we got Spain. Not, Madrid, not, 300. Yeah, not week, the week after. And then European Championships. After that. I know it's super raw at the moment, but what will you take from this match in particular heading into Madrid? We're pretty resilient. Like, you can see that in our careers. Uh, we've never been like the best, um, but we've found a way. And this time last year, we had a, a heartbreaking loss and uh, we actually, in Madrid, two weeks later then, we came back and played the best badminton we've ever played in our lives and reached the semi-finals. So we'll pick ourselves up and we'll go again, as we always do. So it's now a couple of days after our match and as you could tell from those interviews, we were pretty gutted. It was a match that could have gone either way. 
but we didn't want to end the vlog negatively so we're heading back to the arena now as we also haven't shown you a behind the scenes tour and brace yourself as this place is huge. Jen is better with a camera so I'll be your tour guide. So as you can see the courts are there, players walk onto the courts through this central location here and behind these curtains are the warm-up courts. Hello! Final warm-up courts and you can only use these before your match and they have strict bouncers on the door as you can see here. <laughs> Continuing with the tour, so you walk off the court from here and you walk through here into the media zone. And here is where you do post-match interviews. Walking down the corridor, looking at all the history of the All England, here's Lee Chong Wei. The lift. We are now at the stringing area where they are stringing all the players' rackets. The practice courts. This is the players' lounge where there's some table football and some pool. Chico currently on the pool table. The concourse. And finally, back into the arena to watch a few more matches before we head off to Germany for the weekend to play for our club. But we'll of course still be watching as many matches as we can from the All England while we're in Germany. Although it's usually geo-blocked and that's where the sponsor of today's video comes in, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN is a virtual private network helping you to watch live badminton if the matches are geo-blocked in your country because you can change your virtual location in just a few clicks. To do this, once you've signed up to Surfshark, you simply select the country you want to go to, refresh the page and bam, you can now watch the live badminton. We'll be watching the semi-finals and the finals of the All England for education, inspiration and entertainment. And we'd highly recommend for you to watch as much top level badminton as you can to really help you improve. And using Surfshark VPN not only helps you watch badminton matches, but for example, if you live in Spain, you can connect to the Canadian server and access the biggest movie catalogue on Netflix. What's even better is with one subscription, you can have it on unlimited devices. Unlimited devices! So to sign up to Surfshark, click the top link in the description below or scan this barcode that's on screen here and use our code Badminton Insight to get an extra three months for free. And if you want to watch our match back from Tuesday, then we'll also link that in the description below. And if that link doesn't work, then you're gonna need Surfshark VPN. And that's it for this vlog. Hopefully we'll bring you a more positive vlog very soon where we win some of these matches, maybe at the European Championships. Hopefully. As always, please give the video a like if you've enjoyed it smash the subscribe button and we'll see you on another video very soon. Bye!